Hey guys, APAP5 here. I'm sorry this thing looks so messy. This is actually the couch that I now film on, only it has the old bed sheet thing on it because my grandma had a family reunion and they had to use my room, so I slept on this couch with the old covers on it. And it looks messy because it used to have like a mattress thing underneath it that we put on top of the couch, and when I pulled it out, the whole thing got messed up. But anyways, on to the purpose of this video. Now this little thing here is a 6th generation iPod Nano. My first iPod was an iPod Shuffle that was pretty much this thing with a pocket clip. See? Pocket clip. Um, but it didn't have a screen because that's what an iPod Shuffle is. This is pretty much that. And then my second iPod was the next generation of iPod Nano. Um, that couldn't play video but looked like an iPod Classic. This is pretty much that, only with a touch screen and it doesn't have the bottom attached to it with the little wheel. It's just pretty much a screen um, that can play music. There's Vultures, Disciples, EP, you know. Anyways, um, I really like that cover, by the way. So it's pretty much an old iPod that can only play music and radio, but um, it has a clock feature, and they sold wrist straps with this. I have one of the Apple wrist straps, which I'm an idiot and left in the other room, but they were basically rubber and you couldn't really access anything. You had to press through the rubber and the the headset plug had like a rubber flap that went into it. So you'd always have to pop that out and I'm always worried about ripping it. So I went on Amazon and found a $10 replacement to Apple's rubber wrist strap thing. And also I prefer this over the Apple Watch because it actually, I can actually listen to music on it. What do you know? See, it's not impossible. Uh, today's knife is the Kershaw Cryo. So let's see. It's over in this corner, so I hope I don't like, you know, cut anything. Hopefully I don't cut through the bed either. That worked very well, actually. Oh, it comes in a box. See, it can't even fit on the label, actually. Smart aluminum metal something something 8 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte new oh wow they actually printed a brand name on it so this seller on Amazon had sold these wrist traps that I saw all over Amazon however they got one bad review that said they smelled and they didn't sell any more of them this looked like an updated version of them but they haven't gotten a single review so these aren't covered whatsoever, and I can only imagine it's because this thing barely got any software updates, and I think it probably came out around the time Steve Jobs died, and that's why it didn't get as much love as it should have. Plus the iPod Nano that came out before it could play video, and this couldn't, and you know, paying for something that's kind of expensive but only plays music when you could get an iPod Shuffle. It's a bit overboard. Now you can get these fa at a fairly decent price, I believe less than $100, and you can wear them as a watch, which is what I'm going to do once I get this wrist strap out of the bag or box. I'm horrible at unboxing. So it comes in a sandwich bag. Quality. And, yep, I they have metal ones. Um, I've seen metal ones of these online. Um, not this exact model, but, uh, like, metal straps, and I didn't like that because it's impossible to, you know, um, get a metal strap on a tiny wrist. My wrists are so tiny, like, I, I don't even know how to explain how tiny my wrists are, but when I get a metal, uh, band, they can't even shorten it enough to fit around my wrist. Um, so I got a rubber band, and it has a, a of foam in here. There we go. Now, I guess that's supposed to be aluminum. It almost feels like wood, which is kind of odd. But I got this one because it has these like curves here, and there's other ones that don't, and it's literally just the iPod Touch sitting on top of a platform, and I thought that looked stupid. I just called it an iPod Touch, which kind of literally what it is, but not exactly what it is. The band is actually pretty, not stiff, but sturdy. I thought it was going to be, like, feel like bubblegum almost. I've bought in cheap 
watch bands before and they don't feel as high quality as this. So this is all a good sign. Now this color also matches-ish. It kind of matches my iPod thing. I still don't know what color this is, which is why I was having trouble, trouble with that. Now the way this works is it straps in using the clip here. So I have to figure out, I think it goes in like this. Yeah, probably does. Okay. Here we go. Uh, the last unboxing I did, there we go. Uh, kind of wobbles a bit. Not a huge amount of wiggle room, but, oh wait, maybe it doesn't wobble. Maybe that's just the uh, wristband, hang on. No, it does kind of wobble. I mean, let's see here. Oh, and let me move the screen around. I don't think that wobbles enough to be annoying at all. Um, so yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. I like that uh, wrist strap, especially since it matches the iPod. And they had all different colors for the different colored um, iPods. I'm surprised they didn't sell better. Maybe I, I looked all over to see if this was a knockoff of a higher quality one, but I couldn't find anything with this exact lip and design. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, if you're going to pick one of these up second hand, I would definitely recommend um, this $10 wrist strap, at least with my first impressions. I might make a review if it like completely tears up my iPod. Also, I recently did an unboxing of a 2DS and it's getting like a lot, a lot, a lot of attention. It's almost one of my most popular video. It's definitely probably one of the videos I've had that's gone the most views in like a record amount of time. It's gotten like some good and some bad comments. Like <laughs> the um, like and dislike ratio is pretty positive, but the comments aren't always spectacular. And that video I did sort of like this one. I just got got it came home and I wanted to mess with it so I did a quick unboxing. I might do a review on the 2DS because it was kind of negative but I mean it was an unboxing. I thought people would just like to see the technology and didn't really care about educated opinions because obviously I spent the money on it so I wanted it and obviously I hadn't had much experience with it because I had just bought it and it's an unboxing and you're the one who looked up at unboxing, but anyways, I'm thinking about doing a more positive review on it because I do like it. It's just, I don't like it as much as other things. I mean, if you're a Nintendo fanboy and you like all the remastered stuff, that console is definitely for you. If you're like me and you like to have console exclusives to justify the purchase of a console, it, it was worth the $80. I'm not sure if I would have spent more, except I do like the design of the original 3DS. I just wish I had uh, more interest in Nintendo games, but that's just me, and uh, this isn't about that, this is about this thing. Real quick before I go, let's uh, plug a headset into it. And... Hang on, how does that work? Yeah, okay. So you could wear it upside down, which might be what I do, because um, I wear watches on my right arm. Actually, unlike the Apple one, this has screws in it. So you might be able to swap these around for, a uh, if you're left-handed or if you're just weird like me and like wearing the watches on your predominant hand. Huh. I might try to do that later. But yes. Here's my new music listening device, as my iPhone 5 here is out of storage space and I put all my music on this little thing.